Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik. Today I'm going to take a look at a new way that you could use connectors. So a participant in a training that I was speaking at thought of this idea and they really wanted to share it. So they said that you could create thumbtacks which were using connectors and then as you pull the connector you could create containers which show if the answer is right or not. So the students or the images at the bottom stay where they are, but you can move the thumbtacks to different locations. You could do this with flags, you could do this with languages if you were using a map. I've also seen this flip chart on Promethean Planet where it has hands and the hands go into the boxes. Now of course I can't find it, so I kind of created my own with fractions underneath each student and then pizzas at the top that represent the correct answer. So you could set up containers for each one so that when you moved it to the correct one, you hear a reward sound. To do this, you'd actually want the pizza to contain that thumbtack. So I'm going to open up my property browser and I've selected that pizza. And I'm going to click on containers. Can contain specific object. And I'm looking for what it should contain. Now here's where it gets tricky because I put so many of these different thumbtacks on here. I'd want to start probably with the first one, close to the first one I put on there. Another thing I can do here where it says image 2 to make this a little bit easier would be to rename these images. So if I go up here into identification, I can rename this um, to be the fraction. So it's a little bit easier for me to find it. But so I've set this up to have a reward sound. Let's try it out. So how do you set up connectors? Well, first of all, each of the students along the bottom and each of the thumbtacks is its own image. Let me delete one of these connectors so you can see how I set this up. All right, so there's the thumbtack and there's the student. So I'm going to go over in my toolbar and I'm going to select the connectors tool. When this comes up, you can see over here, there's another panel with all my options. So I'm going to select the dotted line, and it's already on pink. I'm going to click on the student. I'm going to click the connector right to the thumbtack. Now this takes a delicate touch. You might want it to go right to the top of the thumbtack or right to the bottom of the thumbtack, but I would caution you that at least at first, you probably want to put it towards the middle of the image. It's a lot easier to get it to stick. Let's try it out and see. Oh, it works. I always want to move the other objects too to make sure they're really connected. If for some reason it didn't really work and it wasn't actually connected, I click on the connector and I click on this button, which is going to show me where the two ends are. And then move over the end to make sure that it was inside the image. Connectors can be used in a variety of ways. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want in all different styles. You can do this for webs. You could do this for matching. It could be an interesting way to have students um, show their support for something. Thanks for watching today's Active Tip. Check out our website for more information. And stay tuned for more information about our summer technology workshops.